guys welcome back to my channel I know I haven't done a favorites video in forever I've only ever done one favorites video and that was 2012 so I do have a lot of beauty favorites to share with you guys so bear with me the month of June it went by so fast oh my gosh just so happy that it's summertime get started. First one is Facial Peeling by Dead Sea Minerals Vivo and um, I actually got this from a kiosk from my local mall and this jar runs for $100 each. Salesperson sold it to me two for eighty which was a really good deal and I really like it. It looks like that. I don't know if you guys could see with the lighting and all, but um, I really like it because I would put this on maybe like once a week even, and it'll just scrub out all the dirt on my face, and you could actually like see it come out too, and the makeup that was absorbed in my skin, so I really like it because afterwards you just feel so fresh and your face just feels so smooth. This is one of my favorites for the month of June and I know I like to keep things in a box. So, I don't know. I just thought that the packaging was really, really nice and classy looking. So that is one of my faves. Next is the C. Tropez Bronzing Mousse and it is a self tanner. I am not a big fan of going to the salon, going under the tanning booths because first of all, it's not good for you and you can get skin cancer. I know some people are going to be against me saying that, but um, I would rather self tan on my own and this was recommended by my girl here on YouTube, IJK Fam TV Cat. She also has a beauty channel now, Cat Steez, so if you're not following her, I will have her link below. I really do like this. It makes my tan look natural. It's not patchy. I tried applying this just with my hand alone, but I didn't like the effect of it really. I still do like it, but um, just with my hand, applying it with my hand, I didn't like it, but I do have a tanning glove and I apply it with that and I just see more of a difference versus applying it on with my hands. So the St. Tropez Tatting Mousse, highly, highly recommend it and it is my fave for the month of June. Also because I am going to Vegas. Look at me, I am so pale. So I will be bringing this bad boy with me for the pool parties. Love it. Next is a hair product and this is what I have been using as a dry shampoo for a couple weeks now. And it is the Hair Play Makeover Spray by KMS California. I did feature this on my updated hair care routine and it was also a collab with one of my girls on YouTube. So if you haven't seen that yet, check it out. But I do love this because I do like the minty smell and first of all the minty smell that it gives off isn't as strong and it still has that fruity scent at the end of it so I do really like it and it gives my hair volume as well and it just sucks up all that oil I have been using it for days when I don't wash my hair and highly recommend this another one is a hair product as well and this is the organics by Numi it's the argan oil and I also did feature this on my updated hair care routine I do love this because I know I just apply this at the ends of my hair to help with the dryness it keeps my hair hydrated and makes it look so sleek every time I straighten it it uh, protects color treated hair so do love it I really like the smell of it as well it is the argan oil by Nubie. Next, I'm going to be moving on to my makeup products and essentials. First one is a Bodger Balm. This is certified organic Bodger Balm for sensitive dry skin. This is actually my husband. I couldn't find my chapstick so I asked my husband if he had any on him and he gave me this and I don't know why I haven't seen this before 
um, around the house or in the bathroom. Usually he would just leave things laying around. But um, I tried this and I really like it. It makes my lips really, really smooth. You could also use this for dry areas on your skin, like, you know, them elbows, because y'all know your elbows and knees be dry. All right? So you could also use it for your elbows, your knees, any areas on your body that is dry and it will keep it moisturized. So it is the Bodger Balm Certified Organic. I think you could purchase this at Sephora as well. Um, my girlfriend told me she saw it. Next is my Hard Candy Glamovlage Heavy Duty Concealer. And it looks like that. I do use this product mainly for highlighting around my brows and I love it and I have tried this as a concealer on its own and it just made me look I don't know washed out because I guess the product is so pigmented and light I did buy a medium it is still light when it goes on your skin I just use this as a highlight and I do use this like for contouring as well like under my eyes and all that other than that I don't really use this as a concealer is the Glamouflage Hard Candy Heavy Duty Concealer. Next are these NYX Soft Matte Lip Creams. I am loving this right now just because of how it applies on and it's very long lasting too on your lips. I brought these two out because these are my favorite colors right now and one of them is called Transylvania and it just applies like a really dark Purple. I know it's summertime and we gotta bust out our light colored or bright colored lipsticks, but this one I am loving. Um, it's good for wearing out during the night if you were going out on a date night or something or out with your girls on a girls night. Really, really pretty color. And of course, I'm also loving this color right here. It is called Morocco. I am wearing it right now and it has like that orange tone to it. If you guys follow my vlogs, I've mentioned this a couple times in my vlogs that I right now am obsessed with the coral or orange colored lipsticks. So I had to get this and the soft matte creams really are amazing. Another favorite lip product of mine is these melted lipsticks. I love how also they apply on and how long lasting they are. One time I did wear this for a review. Afterwards, I went out and had dinner with my parents. They were still on my lips afterwards. But I mean, they do dry out. It feels um, dry after. But all I do is I put chapstick over it and it still seals the color. So I do love it. Um, I have three of them, but I'm only showing you one. They're all the same, just different colors, so that's that. Next is this 12 hour infallible super slim liquid eyeliner and this has been my favorite for ever and ever. Um, ever since it came out I bought this and I fell in love with it and I have been repurchasing this. This is the eyeliner that I use because I love how I could just build up onto it if I wanted just like a thin line I could do that if I wanted to build up and do like a cat eye look I could do that and it's really easy I love the tip of it as well looks like that it is more like a felt marker tip 12 hour infallible super slim liquid eyeliner next is something that I use for my brows that I have discovered lately and it is the Anastasia dip brow pomade I did get a few samples from Sephora because I wasn't sure if I really liked the product but I just kept putting on my brows and I just like how I can control how dark I want my brows to be or how light I want my brows to be and it doesn't come off so really like it. I know I still have mine in a box because I haven't touched this one yet. I still do have a sample left over so what it looks like and mine is in the dark brown. Next is this 3D Fiber Lash by Unique. I don't know if you guys have seen my review on this mascara but it seriously is amazing. 
and I have been using it. Um, it comes with the fibers and the transplanting gel. So if you haven't seen my video on how to apply this stuff, I will have the link below for you guys to check out. If I'm in a rush most of the days, I will just bring this with me in my purse and I do my mascara in the car. And it actually really gives my lashes that full effect that I'm wearing false lashes. And a couple of my girlfriends already asked me to, like, are you wearing false lashes? And I'm like, no, it's a mascara. If you do wear this a lot, though, every single day, um, it does make your lashes feel really hard. And it, sometimes it's hard to take the product off. So I recommend maybe, like, not using this too, too much and um, just alternating between days because I was obsessing with this and I used it every single day and it made kind of made my lashes stick together and uh, really hard and sticky but it still is an amazing product so next is something that I'm sure all girls have discovered and it is the Ben Nye Luxury Powder in Banana and I love this stuff. Um, I've had this for a couple months now and I still do have a lot because a little of it goes a long way and I just love how it looks on me in pictures and how it just brightens up my face. So highly, highly recommend this. It is the Ben Nye Luxury Powder in Banana and it is fairly inexpensive. How much did I buy this for? Like $10? Next is my Anastasia contour kit and I am really liking this right now you guys I recently just bought it I've been contouring with it and I'm really liking it so far and as you can see these are the colors that I mostly use these two over here and banana in the middle and I just like how I contour with it it's fairly chalky when you apply it on but it blends really well with your skin so I do really really love it last but not least is a gift from my hubby and it was a random gift that he just bought for me from Ulta I didn't even know that he was buying it while I was looking for makeup so he got me the Daisy Mark Jacobs it out of the box it also comes with a travel sized perfume that you could take with you and the perfume right here and it smells really good so I really do love it and I'm actually wearing it right now all right guys that is all my favorites for the month of June I tried to hurry up and get things going because I know it's kind of a lot of stuff this is my first favorites video for this year so bear with me some of these products I have loved from the months before and some of them are new that I've tried out and do love. Is it just me or like do you guys always tell yourself oh I'm gonna do a favorites video at the end of the month when it's the beginning of the month but then at the end of the month you seem to forget what you favorited. I don't know maybe it's just that is it so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys have any requests below from what you guys saw that I favorited for this month comment below and I will get that to you as soon as possible. Hope you guys are having a great start of the summer so far and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!